you know, we, we've looked a lot at people that really just do not have the right idea about this. They're not looking at it with the right kind of vision. But I want to share with you today somebody that was, and he was a member of this congregation, a guy named John Richardson. And he just perfectly characterized the entirety of what is going on here. This is a longtime member of the West Freeway Church of Christ in his own words about what took place that day where he lost two of his brothers in Christ to this horrific psychopath that decided he was going to come in and kill people. And, and luckily, and thank God, there were people there that were willing to defend life and this was his reaction to that. Well, the only problem is that we have to understand that evil is everywhere and that no matter of preaching or teaching, if evil is going to try to do something horrible, evil is going to do something horrible. And so it is. All you can do is do your best to stop evil from happening to more people. That's all you can do. And you have to go on. And we have to understand that this poor man, I don't know what his mental state was, but... My heart goes out to his family because they have to live with this. And we have, we have, I know he took some lives, and he, but we have to remember he's a creature of God also, just like we are. And it was a sad thing that he had to come into the congregation and hurt people, and it's a sad thing that we had to hurt him. But I don't have any hate for this person. I can't, we can't have hate for these people. We can't have hate for anybody that does hate for us. We have to go on. We have to live that life of Christ that wants us to teach and preach and be that example of his on earth to every person we can meet. And that's, that's all we can do. We just have to pick up the pieces and go and just take care of who we can. Take care of and appreciate every moment you have and love everybody with the love of Christ that you can love. You know, there are a few times, as somebody that, that follows news stories like this, and specifically somebody that, that talks about tragedies and, and big national stories like I do from time to time, off the top of my head, and there may be other occasions, off the top of my head, I can only remember two other occasions where I've heard something that profound and that filled with the grace of God. One was the Emanuel Church in South Carolina, where you'll remember there was a white nationalist piece of trash that invaded that church building and shot nine people and, and killed them. And hearing the families talk about how they, they love that person, they, forgive the, they forgave him, and, and they would want to be able to talk to him about Jesus being able to forgive him too. And then again, with the death of and murder of Botham Jean and Botham Jean's brother, talking about how he forgave his brother's murderer and wanted her to ask for forgiveness and, and give her life over to Christ. You notice that the people that are able to do this, that bear no hatred in their heart, that want no ill to come to this person. You notice what they all have in common. It's not hard to connect the dots here. It's not, you know, some of the, the hard-hitting political analysis that I normal do, normally do, it's really simple. They had a biblical worldview. They had a worldview that God created us, we're all God's children, and as evil as a person may be, and evil does exist in the world, that's part of the biblical worldview too, as evil as a person may be, they are still somebody that is created in God's image. They may have marred that image. They may have turned their back on God. They may have embraced the darkness and the hatred that is in their heart to the point that they are willing to kill other of God's children. But ultimately, they are still God's creation. And we still have a responsibility to love them. And to help them to turn their life around, to turn their life back to Christ. 
you see guys like this, John Richardson, and Botham Jean's little brother, and the families of the people at the Emmanuel Church, those are people that their entire world is painted through the lens of living like Christ. That's how they're able to do that. It defies all human logic and reason, and you guys know what a big fan I am of logic and reason. It defies any sort of earthly wisdom. It all goes back to the fact that they are trying to live their lives the way Jesus Christ lived his. And when you look at that, when you look at the story of Christ, and see that this was a man that was pleading with God to forgive the people that were his murderers while they were in the process of murdering him. I'm sorry, that's the only way you get to that worldview. You can't get there through Allah. You can't get there through whatever Hindu gods are there. You can't get there through secularism or human reason or atheism or any of the other isms that we might talk about. The only way to get to that point is having a worldview that includes Jesus Christ. That's it. There are no other ways. And we've spent the better part of a half hour now talking about how political pundits have been looking at this story and how it's been a, a football to throw back and forth and they're trying so hard to uh, paint it in one particular way or the other. This is a guy that's looking at it the correct way, that he has his priorities in order, that he's looking at it primarily through, okay, when I say this to these people, how do I convey the love of Christ in my message? That's the most important thing. That's what so many other people were missing in this. And it is a a responsibility that I take seriously, and, and I don't know if I would have that kind of strength, but I pray that I would. But I tell you this, if you do want to have that kind of worldview, there is one path to take, and that is the path of following Jesus Christ. There is no other way to get there. <laughs> You know, you really should like this video and subscribe to the Tactics YouTube channel. Oh, what's that? You want to know what's on the channel before you subscribe to it? Oh, no, 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 it's like Obamacare. So you got to subscribe to find out what's on it.